Welcome to a really short episode of We Are Carbon. I'm Helen Fisher, and as we've been going through our interviews and gaining many different points of view around solutions, and in particular, nature-based solutions to our planet's issues, I hope you've been able to shake away any ideas of carbon being some kind of bad guy. And perhaps more importantly, you're gaining a deeper understanding of why it's so valuable to see things holistically and just how significant even simple steps can become when we recognise that everything is very much connected. It's not really possible to talk about carbon, the stuff that life is actually built from, without it webbing out from a talk of climate change to one about food or the circular economy and then out ever further. It stops us from separating out the health of the oceans, the land and ourselves as though we could ever mistreat one without mistreating them all. And ultimately, from that point of view, all of us are empowered to be part of the solution. No waiting for some super clever new technology. We are carbon. And we are capable of making the change that's needed. So this content has never been about creating a fixed focus on carbon but using it as a topic that so beautifully demonstrates what it is to think holistically. And there's plenty more interviews to come. But first, there's various other elements that I've been stringing together behind this podcast, and I'd like to start involving you with them. How much does the following resonate with you? We're missing out on so many benefits by living within economies that overlook the value of soil. Soil can provide for so many of our needs, through that infinite energy resource of the sun and the marvel of photosynthesis, of course. Healthy soil is a pivotal interaction point where elements are brought together and formed into everything from food that nourishes us to materials that can build our homes and clothe our bodies. And as we grow for our needs, the needs of that essential soil life can be supported in the process. So there becomes this incredible point where integrating what we need and what nature needs side by side, rather than separating them into two unrelated interests, offers extraordinary healing of multiple crises. As the climate is supported, resilience for ecosystems and economies is increased, and biodiversity is allowed to begin to flourish. And it's far more than a beautiful vision. Because so many people, so many projects are demonstrating just how readily it can work. And as the farming scene is bursting out with ever-growing eagerness to get on board with regenerative practices, I find myself itching to keep this moving well beyond the fields. Regeneration starts with the soil, and it needs to return there too. An economy that's beyond circular, a regenerative economy. There are so many significant and easy wins for the planet if we can move this knowledge of regeneration along with the resources out of the field and into the shops, the restaurants, businesses small and large, manufacturers and distributors. Ultimately, it needs to become effortless, even desirable for the consumer to be involved and at the heart of regeneration of our planet by re-looking at the links between everything along the way. For me, a chunk of the answer, a big chunk, lies in community. Global community for inspiration and knowledge and local community for action. If any of this makes sense to you already and it excites you a little, then please consider joining me for a bit of an experiment. I'm looking for a group of people across industries and locations to help kickstart a network and begin building new opportunities. There are no specific requirements beyond taking enough of an interest in what I'm talking about here to want to be involved. To learn more and express your interest, please find the link within this episode's description or head to wearecarbon.earth and contact me through the website. Oh, and don't forget to share this with anyone else you think may be also keen to get involved. 
and in the next episode we're actually looking back over what we've learned so far through the interviews and stringing it all together to offer even more clarity. I'm really excited for this one. So let's keep figuring this all out together.